Hey guys, welcome back to another question. So for number seven, let's go. So the curve C has equation y equals ln of x squared plus one all over x squared plus one, where x takes all row numbers. Okay. Now for part A, we need to find dy with dx. And to find dy with dx, you must you must remember that when you got a function over another function, we need to use the quotient rule. Okay. And the quotient rule is so easy. You literally just pick the top half as a u, the bottom half as, as a v. So just like I did over here, differentiate each one and then use a nice, um, use a quotient rule method to stick them together. So let's have a go and simplify this, yeah? Now to differentiate um, the u function ln x squared plus one, x squared plus one, you simply just differentiate the inside, which would be two x, and divide it by itself, x squared plus one. That's how you different. That's how you differentiate every single log function. Okay. Now for the second one, that's straightforward. It just becomes two x. Just drop the power and you're done. Now the quotient rule tells us that we pick the v, smash against the u prime by multiplying, then take the u multiply against v prime and then divide all of this by v squared okay so let's have a look so let's do v times u prime so you've got x squared plus one times this side and you notice if you multiply this you can actually cancel down x squared plus ones so you're left with just a 2x and now we're going to subtract because that's the rule minus then we're going to subtract the other two multipliers so it'll be 2x times the natural log so i'm just going to copy it head on and it'll be all over v squared. So it'll be x squared plus 1 all squared. And, well, there's not much to say here. You can see on the top line that you can just factorize 2x out. And doing so, well, you get this. And yeah, I've already done it. So that's it. Yeah, so let's look at part B now. Hence, and when you use the word hence, they always refer to, to, to make sure that you use the previous solution. Find the exact coordinates of the stationary points. Keyword, yeah? When you hear stationary word, think of dy over dx equals zero and solve for x. And of course, when you solve for x, you can find y. Now, that's yeah, self-explanatory. So make it equal to zero. So let's solve this one equals zero. And when you do that, just remember that when this is set to zero, you can immediately cancel out every bottom fraction because multiplying it across and times against zero, well, gives you zero. So the only thing you have left is the top line set to zero. And what does that tell us? Well, the first solution would be 2x equals 0 because two, this times that equals 0. And the second solution would be this function here, so I should put 2x here, equals 0 too. This means that the first solution, x is 0, so we can immediately find y. And I'll do that in a bit. And for this function here, you can rearrange to make the natural log the subject and solve. So let's have a look. First, to get rid of the natural log, you need to, tie, you need to take exponential on both sides. So taking, you know, e's on both sides, this cancels the ln and this raises it to the power 1. And you'll realize here that e to the power 1 is just e. And then to find x, well, you know what, minus 1 across and square root. And when you square root, always keep the plus minus result, guys, because this is the kind of bit where you can literally drop a mark. And this is what, 6 marks. So if you forget the minus sign, you could actually lose 1 or 2 marks. Now, since now that we found x, all you need to do is literally um, plug into y. Because remember, you're trying to find the stationary points. And that means you need to find the x and y solution. So, let's have a look. So, I already copied it down here just for convenience. So, using the first solution when x equals 0, plug in x equals 0 into this equation. You're going to have ln 0 plus 1 over 0 plus 1. And you're just left with ln 1. And that, if you're not too sure, in your calculator gives you a 0. So that means the y coordinate is 0 when x is 0. So that's our first station point. Now for the second, oh, oh yeah, one thing I have to note. Because I said plus minus, this means you have two more solutions. So essentially you have three solutions, including the 0. So let's have a look with the plus minus bit. Now, if you look at the equation, the y equation, you've got x squares in there. So that means if you square this, you don't have to worry about plus minus because you're going to get the same result. So that's, that means x squared equals e minus 1. And plugging in e minus 1 in place of x squared, you're going to have this. And just tidying it up by, you know, minus 1 plus 1 cancels out. You're left with ln e over e. And finally, ln e, again, if you're not sure, will give us a 1. Because ln and e cancel each other out. That means our y coordinate is 1 over e for both the plus and the minus result. 
So guys, make sure you put that down, and of, and of course it's zero zero. And that's it. We're all done. So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed my video, and um, if you understood question seven clearly, please give me a like, subscribe your, uh, subscribe to me, share with your friends, and yeah, I shall see you guys uh, in the next one. Ciao.